Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Gualti M. Tuba. Welcome on my channel. Um, I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. This is about love. What is next in love? I know this is the most um, awaited reading. You guys were definitely waiting for this reading, and today I'm here uh, to give you this detailed reading. What is coming next in love? It could be your current relationship and you really want to know that if it's like what is next in this love relationship or this could be totally, totally a new relationship, fresh, new beginning in your life, especially if you don't have anyone and you're looking for a new relationship, okay? So you know better. I'm definitely going to give you the whole detail about your next relationship or what is happening next in love. So... Claim the reading, affirm that if you're really manifesting someone in your life, so you have to put the in the comment box like, yes, I claim that, I affirm that, I know that this is happening, I believe that. So if you are not believing, if you have any doubt, then definitely this reading, I told you, I watch readings on my channel as a confirmation. If you are seeing the signs, if you already know your intuitions and your guides are telling you that this is a confirmation, that this reading is going to give you a confirmation because it's a live reading. I don't know what will happen next. I don't know if I'm describing your current relationship, your previous or your next. You know better what are you manifesting. It's different for different people, right? Because thousands of people are watching me, okay? So this is a general reading. As I always say, it's take what resonates. You can also book a personal reading if you want a brief um, personal private reading. Everything is given in the description box. Please for, uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm really working hard. So I really want your support there too on my social media accounts. Okay. So this is all about what is next in love. Either it's current or it's next. So you know better. I already pre shuffled the Oracle's card for each deck, each pile. I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it. So why not? Okay. If I will have a time, I'm definitely going to give you maybe a physical description of this person. If it's not, then definitely I'm going to also give you the time, time frame. That's people want to know that when basically it's happening. So the, when your manifestations will come through. Also the time. So let's start the reading. You have three decks in front of you. Choose intuitively whatever the deck is calling you or the Hearthstone. Because it's all about love reading. So I'm using Hearthstone today. Heart crystal. It's very beautiful. So pick up your reading. I'm going to meet you on your reading. So let's start the reading. Okay. Group number one. Deck number one. Welcome on your reading. So let's start your reading. Um, I want to tell you that you could be seeing 5-5 five, five a lot. Okay. This could be a sign. And others of you, this is talking about um, number 10 could be important for you. Number 5, 2 or maybe number... 12 is important for you. Okay, so definitely pay attention to these numbers. So let's start the reading. I want to see the Oracle's card first, like basically, and then we will see if this is your reading or not. Then I will use the tarot. Okay, this is the, the beautiful green heart you picked here. I want to show you. Please focus. Please focus. Yeah, look at this. This is a very beautiful stone here. Okay, so let's start it from the Oracle's card. There's a lot of Oracle's card I'm using, so I'm going to put the label on it. Sorry, their names, if I will remember that. <laughs> so let's see. So we have the Silver Waterfall. We have the Sacred Woman. Now, from this, we have the mirror. Wow. It was, came up like, like this, you know. We will talk about it. And from this oracle's card, we have a no. Mm. Then we have camouflage. And then we have fly on the wings of love. Mm, interesting. This is a beautiful oracle deck, mini oracle deck uh, from my friend Melina. Shoot out to Melina and her channel. Um, and also, um, she has a website of, you know, Oracle Sky. Definitely check it her out. I'm definitely going to put the link of her channel and also these Oracle's card. Now, let's see what's more. We have the indecision. 
here I use my intuition in all aspects of life and then from this oracle's card we have a transformation butterfly so you could be seeing a lot of butterflies I can see that already butterflies birds you know flowers and from this Sun oracle's card we have originality it's it's I feel mercury in in Aquarius and number good 11 could be relevant to you and this is astrological signs here we will pick we have a house 10 structure discipline life mission accomplishments and career and then we have the sun interesting self-express and embodied truth and then we have the taurus trust patience and sensuality interesting thing here so this is what you got from your oracle's card okay the first thing first coming up in my mind here is that this person, if you believe in astrological science here, this person could be Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Capricorn. Now, I'm also seeing this person could have a sun in Taurus in 10th house. Also, it's a very specific sign here. Um, it's very specific. This could be yours, like sun could be in Taurus, or sun in your 10th house, or sun in Taurus in 10th house, or maybe this person has it. Now, sun is in Leo, sun is, is Leo, and the, it, it's also Aquarius here. So this could be Leo and Aquarius axis here for some of you, if you believe in this. You could be Taurus and Capricorn couple too. Now, what I'm getting here that there's something uh, before you will go into uh, this relationship. I feel you're still indecisive about something, okay? Let's be honest here. So if this is your reading, definitely continue watching that. So if it's not, then definitely you can choose another deck another pile so i'm seeing that right now you are in this indecision here that i can see from that card and we have the mirror that came up you know like reverse here so it, strongly i believe that this is talking about i believe that with this mirror came up reverse and indecision you're still in the process of learning it's like mirroring your soul mirroring yourself inside basically there's a decision that you need to make here with this no hair also because you still need to transform here you're if you're looking for new love i don't think so you are prepared your soul is prepared for new relationship because you need to transform first you could be still holding on to someone from the past here okay so there's a no here it is not going to manifest until you're not going to free yourself from this decision that you're 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 holding on you have to make a decision first so if you're watching my reading here, thinking about like, I'm going to talk about new love or talking about like someone is new coming towards you and you will be in this relationship. Yes, you can. But first of all, you need to be truthful to yourself with this Mercury in Aquarius originality. This is what it is. Are you really being truthful to yourself? Are you really being original with your feelings, with your own desires? What do you want? So there is indecision here. Okay, like you're not still sure what do you want. You want a new relationship or you want to go back to this person that you're holding on to. So basically, you, this is a decision that you need to make. Transform yourself, being original with yourself, basically what do you want. You can't, you know, ride the boat here and there, go into two direction. You have to choose your direction first. If you're really looking for a new love or if you really want to go back to the same person from the past here. At least make a decision because there's something and and confirm that affirm on this like yes i want to do this because you are in this limbo right now in decision you're not sure you're still in the process of learning healing like where you want to go what you want to do if you want to be um there's the sun here it's talking about sun is your soul it's, it's it's expression it's truth here and we also have originality so are you being true to yourself or true to the person that you're dealing with because you know my style if you're new in my channel if you don't know my style i am the this is i am this this is here Mercury in Aquarius, this is me, being original, being truthful. You like it or not, I'm going to speak the truth, to be honest. This is how, how I am. And people, that's why maybe they like that, being original, being straightforward of me. This is not, I, I'm just doing this on my channel. In my real life too, I'm being original, I'm being truthful. I don't care what people think, what people are. I just going to speak my truth. You like it or not. But you know, that's what it is. Mercury is Aquarius. Are you really being truthful to yourself? To your desires, through your emotions, through your feelings. Do you really know where are you going or what do you want? That's my question from you, my viewer. Doesn't matter. You're, it's a gender-free reading, girl or guy, whoever you are, man or woman. This is for everyone. So 
this is what it is. I love this in Erica's card when the silver waterfall came up. She's definitely, look at this, she's naked here and the water falling is, is water is falling. You know, it's like emotions are flowing. You could be from Rainbow Tribe here because I'm seeing here. Does not have to be because Rainbow is also talk about there is a new beginning here. There's a new fresh start here that you're waiting. You need to flow your emotions. You need to, you should not control your emotions and feelings. You need to flow it. Let it flow, whatever you're feeling. Just surrender to the divine. Look at these two birds here. You could be uh, connecting with the divine and divine is connecting with you through messages and signs and synchronicities. Then why are you doubting? Again, the butterfly here and butterfly. It's about transformation here. I love that because in this card, especially though, there's a one swan here only. Uh, mostly there's a two swans here and we know that there's a concept of two swans is like uh, I remember I just uh, make them as like twin flame connection uh, like soulmate or only eternal one true love or true partner that's how this uh, swans couple are right so, but it's here is one so it's all about embodying the self-love do you really love yourself are you ready for love are you ready to give yourself completely and whole to the other person I don't think so if you say yes, I don't think so because your emotions are not flowing. You need to let it flow even though you love this person or that person. There's a this and that here and there. You need to make a decision here because you are still in the, in, 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 in the mid here. You're not sure what do you want. So we have the sacred woman here. So a lot of you, this is you. You have been maybe 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus. I strongly feel like you're a mature woman here watching this video. Uh, when I'm saying mature woman, it's like, does not matter. You could be teenager here, but you're more mature, okay? You could have a strong Capricorn in your chart, definitely. Our Taurus, Earth energy, I'm strongly feeling from your, from my uh, female energy here, our feminine energies here. And you could be dealing with the air sign. I can see that. Could be a fire sign, like Leo, Aquarius, these type of people. But what I'm seeing here is that with this sacred woman here, a lot of you, look at this, is her heart is here. So heart chakra. You need to open your heart chakra to receive this love fully. To open yourself fully, be vulnerable to this person fully. Look at this, there's a mountains here. So it's like, it's look like it's still challenging for you to surrender, to devote yourself, to let your guards down and completely give yourself to the whole person. Can you do it? I don't think so. You're not ready for that because this is how the true love is. This is what it is. It's like you need to flow in your emotions, flow in your feelings. Like, are you ready for this? Because I am... Strongly feeling like you have to prepare yourself for this love that is coming. Because the next love that are the person that you could be currently dealing with is also. It's like you're not being original to this person. You need to tell this person how you truly feel. There's a communication problem here. There is a transformation here. There's an indecision here that you need to make. Or maybe you need to, if you want to move forward and if you're looking for a new love, first of all, you need to see that are you ready you really forget and forgive your all the past people that you, you're still holding on to something, to be honest. Because that's how you're going to fly on the wings of love. Don't think about it. You may be a logical person. You may be think logically. But universe is saying to you, for, especially for this part, love is not logical. You have to fly. You have to surrender. You have to flow your emotions and feelings. If you really want to, you really need to open your heart here, open your heart chakra, okay? So what I'm seeing here right now, it's a no here because you're not ready. There's a decision that you need to make and the mirror came up reverse. So it's like you, it's a broken mirror, I can see that. So your soul is broken, your heart is broken, you're still healing. You still need to heal. There is a, you know, embodying the self-love, you're still not there. You need to free yourself so you can receive the love and you can give your love to fully. Are you ready for that? I don't think so. You are in the process of it. I can see that there is a transformation happening and you will transform before this person can enter in your life or come into your life. And I feel like now this side is from that person, I feel, whoever this person is. So a lot of you, this is a 10th house. So you will meet this person maybe through your career, through... Um, any type of structure, discipline, this person could be uh, with this 10th house, they have a strong career, they could be a businessman or woman, they could be entrepreneur, they could be a boss, CEO, with the sun here and the 10th house, this person could be very popular in their work field, in their business field, this person could be doing some type of, um, you know, very masculine person, this person is very masculine and you could be the more feminine here, so it's like yin and yang, opposite attract energy here. This person is definitely with the sun in 10th house. I can see that this person is materialistically successful. So you are attracting a wealthy man, successful man with a Taurus too. You know, I'm getting like a, this is a typical traditional guy 
okay, that who believe in marriage, who believe in family, who believe in love, who believe in, this person is going to be very typical, very traditional, like old school, old soul. So if you are into that, then this is a perfect match for you. This is uh, the 10th house. This is, this is someone who is definitely going to be a career-oriented, very hard-working person. This is, this is someone who is very accomplished. If it's not, then this person ha will be will be accomplished. One day will be successful, top of their game. They could be starting their own business, right? This is someone who is self-expressive, like they're embodying this truth. And they only want through. I'm strongly feeling with this uh, all energy here. Like it's a, what is this? It's, it's the all but mixture of eagle. But not eagle. It's a all falcon. I'm also seeing the falcon here. So it's a very strong energy because I'm seeing a lot of birds here. So it could be Aquarius. Or it, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this person is, is very social. Like they have to do things with, with their work. Like talking, speaking. Something to do with their talk and the way they express themselves, okay? Or this is you. You need to express yourself fully, completely to this person. Being regional to this person. Because this person is not here to play, I'm, I'm telling you. The person that you're attracting or manifesting or you're going to deal with is not playing here, honey. It's not playing. So you are confused here. If you will be confused and if you're not sure, this person is not, it's like, okay. Because the universe may be wanting to tell you that you need to be prepared yourself for this person. We have the Taurus energy. This is trust, patience, and sensuality. This person is going to be very sensual, very attractive in your eyes, obviously. I'm seeing also a lot of flowers here. So maybe this person loves flowers, are going to give you flowers, right? This person is also going to be, you know, you will go on to dates with this person. I can see that. Some of you, this person literally look like this if this is a male or masculine. You know? But yeah, I'm strongly feeling this person could be working in a mills, organizations, companies, you know, like a bit, definitely something on a, on a high level. But this person could be older than you or could be your age if you're 50 plus, 60 plus, 40 plus, okay? Yeah, this is a boss, like someone who's a leader, lead people, lead, lead other people. People are working under this person. I don't think so. This is a very masculine energy. So either this is you, you're very masculine. And this is your feminine energy who will be very confused and they could be going through this process. And others of you, if this is you feminine here, you need to make a decision here. Are you ready fully for love to transform, to surrender yourself to this person and being vulnerable to this person? Because you're still stuck in the process of like past and old, new and old, new and old. No, 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 no. So some of you may be thinking about like, okay, whoever will come, either it's a new love or old love, I'm ready. No, 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 no. So some of you, you're still thinking about it. I know that this pile, when you choose that, universe is saying, no, honey, you have to make a choice. You have to tell me very clearly, like, if you want someone back from past or you want a new love. So we, we can give you. It's a mirror. It's definitely you need to see in yourself. And this is definitely a decision that you need to make here. Right. Uh, I'm seeing this person is going to be very attractive, um, very confident. This person has a charisma. Whoever this is, girl or guy, whoever you're attracting, I strongly feel this is a masculine. This is a very masculine person, by the way. They're very traditional, old school. They're very caring. They're going to be very loving. But this person is very hardworking. This person has a career. This person has a business. So they don't, they don't have a time to waste. So you need to think about it before you can come into attract this person or manifest this person into reality. Because this person is going to be very original with you, very honest with you, very truthful. Like, I want this. So you're going to be like, uh, uh, I don't know. So you, uh, I'm not sure. Or maybe, uh, no, 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 no confusion. So you have to prepare yourself, open your heart chakra for this person so you can fully surrender to this person and completely be in love with this person. Okay? Um, but there is also patience required here with this person. Obviously, in every relationship, there's a compromise needed here. So maybe you need to compromise with this person, busy schedule, um, busy schedule. This person is working here and there, multitasking, very busy person. They could have a definitely some type of a persona or public image. Uh, does not have to be like very popular person. This person is like very career oriented, very busy person, hardworking, all about money, success materialistic life this person is grounded in in practical life in 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 real life and you could be more like indecisive not sure and confused you know like you need to ground your energy and flow your emotions go with the flow go with the flow and manifest what you want be clear like what do you want okay so this is what is happening with you right now and this is now we will see that this is i was talking about that person we will see that who is this person and how your relationship will be and I will see, I will move to a chance. So I'm using this um, Oracle's card. This is the character archetypes of um, 
qualities, personalities. This is again, uh, thank you, my friend Melina. I'm going to put the link of this. This is a, you know, archetypes hair. The masculine qualities are feminine, whoever you're looking for. So let's see this person's qualities, whoever this person is coming towards you, are manifesting, what is next in love? Yeah, caretaker. This is a father, kind, loving, democrat, warm-hearted, humanitarian, and compassionate person. I'm getting Aquarius vibe from this person. Yeah, we have a rider, or it could be an earth sign. Unstoppable, taking action, movement, crystal, catalyst, initiator, and coming forth. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh, we have a married man. We have a settled, happy, content husband, engagement, taken, loving, loving family life. Okay, don't think like this is a married man. For some of you, this could be someone that who was married before because I'm seeing caretaker and married man. So they could be a single parent uh, or they could be already single father or mother, especially. But don't worry, this person is coming towards you with this rider here. Okay, this person do maybe riding. This person could be from uh, cold places like cold countries you know where snow is there weather is very cold we have a super fan so this person is going to be very sportive in love chasing devoted uh, follower or stalker so this person could be already watching you keeping an eye on you for some okay does not have to be especially if you have some type of um, public image okay if you are successful so this person is also successful or working with you or work with you but this is someone who's going to be a caretaker if this is not a father they will be a good father of your kid or mother of your kid so this is what this person is like. This person going to support you and they also expect a woman or man from them is also supportive of them. This person is also going to be a um, I feeling um, adventurer. Yeah, we have a six of wheels. This person really want equal give and take, honey. So you could be a single parent. You could be also a single mother and this person is a single parent. Others of you, this is talking about you will have children with this person. So let me tell you. Yeah, we have a seven of pentacles. And now people will say that, oh my God, I'm a teenager. So this is not for you if you're a teenager watching this video and you're not ready for a pregnancy. This is for those women, 40, 50, 60 plus, they're ready for, for uh, you know, having a baby. Yeah, we have the ten of swords. Yeah, this is something happened. It's been a long time. I'm hearing it's been a long time. You have been waiting for this type of a love. Seven of cups. Yes, look at this. You maybe, um, and we have the, the lover here. Here you go. So a lot of you, you have been your hierophant. Some of you, this is someone who is going to be a Taurus, definitely a Taurus. We have a Gemini. I'm getting Libra vibes and I'm also getting a Virgo and Capricorn vibe. Could be Pisces for some. Yeah, this is a definitely a connection that is a lover here. Definitely. Look at this, the lover here. This is going to be a very loving connection. This person going to love you. Others of you, I told you, like you have to make a choice here. You're not sure. So you need to make a choice and decision here with these lovers here. Uh, I feel like you... Kiss many frogs meeting this before meeting this person with the Ten of Swords and Seven of Cups. You always have been looking for this person like, where is my soulmate? Where is this person? Where is the love of my life? Where is my life partner? But you never had this type of a love. This is going to be a solid rooted in reality with the Hierophant. A lot of you, this is going to be a higher purpose of relationship with this lovers and Hierophant. It could be a soulmate, like spiritual connection. I can confirm you here. So this is connection that is going to be maybe you're going to marry with this person in the church or whatever your tradition is, okay, it is going to be a traditional marriage, if you believe in marriage, it can lead to a marriage too, if you believe in it, but others of you, I strongly feel this is a lover, this is someone that you're going to live with, you're going to date, six of pentacles and the lover here, it's equal give and take, there could be an age gap here for some, okay, I feel with the seven of pentacles, you have been waiting for a long time, you have been waiting for this offer, this lover for a long time, and finally it's here, it's here. It's a union. If you are already know who this person is, it's a union. And others of you, this is talking about finally this person is here. Now let's see when um, you will meet this person and your relationship will start it. I'm going to give you the timeline. It's very important. So we have a Friday is an important day. Finalize something. Just let go. It's a Venus day, by the way. So do something on a Friday or something to do with the Venus. Attract. Number six could be important. This this is definitely, number six is a Venus. So definitely is going to be all about love, romance. Um, it is going well now. 12 days or 12 weeks. Number 12 could be important. Yeah, I told you 12 before starting your reading. And we also have, it will work out soon. Three days or three weeks. Some of you, again, three, three. So you could be seeing three, three. 
three plus three, six, six, six. Yes, it's, it's definitely going to be a harmonious, balanced connection between you and this person. It is worth the wait. It is. And we also have listen to friends, 11 days and 11 weeks. So you may be going to meet this person through your friends, uh, you know, work, business. That's what I'm hearing here. For some of you, it's, you already know this person. So I told you it's a, either current or next. So it could be in 11 days or 11 again coming. It's, it's a 1-1 one, one divine counterpart. Now let's see from the charms and, the, and then I'm going to done your reading. You just fall out, so I'm going to see it. Yeah, there is an age gap here between you and this person. Or maybe this person act younger or mature. We have the Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. So there's definitely Earth and Air sign combination here. Anywhere in your chart. We also have C. I'm hearing CEO, Sierra, California, CA, yes. And we also have I. Sarah, I'm hearing. We have the this guitar music. So this person could be working with the music or will play the music. Some of you I'm hearing that you're going to give me this person in some, to, some type of a concert or some type of theater or there's some type of, um, like this person maybe do something in a club like singing dancing playing the music we also have someday soon things are going to start working out yes believe on that yeah you could be waiting for a message you will also talk to this person just peachy yeah maybe in the first place things did not go worked out but now it will if this is someone coming back are you manifesting there is a money here finances i told you this person is all about money finances workaholic working very hard you both could be yeah this person could be a doctor or you could be some of you this is someone who is going to be you know this is going to be a healing connection you could be a doctor watching this uh we have a cap here so maybe this person wear a lot of caps or this person could be a sportsman we also have this um, skull with this wing, so it could be a Scorpio. This is a transformation, again, something with a transformation in your relationship. We also have this black, yeah. There is a definitely releasing the old negative energy, resentment, angerment, angerment, or something. So you need to release these negative emotions in order to flow. Either you want this person back or you're manifesting someone new. There's something that's stopping you. Look at this web here, spider web, definitely. It's talking about you're stuck in something. You're stuck in negativity. You're stuck in maybe in your emotions and feelings. We also have this um, carb here. So definitely cancer. Maybe you're cancer and Scorpio couple could be for some of you. Because I'm seeing here a Pisces. We have a six of cups. Yes, yeah, some of you, this is someone from your past. Is returning six, another six. Wow, a lot of six. It's all about love here. So this could be someone coming back around from the past. But you need to start all over again like a new slate, new page. Need to release. Uh, you're not ready. You need to flow with it. Go with the flow. And don't be obsessed with it. Just get, let it flow. Release the past chapter. Release old. Transform yourself. Be a new person. If you really want this person as a new person, you should be a new person too to receive this person, this love. Six of Cups, this could be also soulmate, I told you. Someone from your, when you will meet this person, it's like, wow, instant connection. You feel like, wow, I was waiting for you for my whole life. Where you were. You know, that type of connection. So this is your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Bye. Hello, group number two. If you choose this beautiful white heart crystal, a stone, this is your reading. Welcome. This is your Oracle's card. I'm going to use. I'm going to use your tarot deck later to see the detail of this person and all that stuff. So let's see. What is next in love? Who are you manifesting? Who is coming towards you? So we have the boundaries and then we have the spiritual maturity. Love that. I love that how this crescent moon has hair. This is like vexing moon and crescent moon. Interesting. Interesting this moons. Moon cycles. Hmm. So you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm strongly feeling Cancer energy here. You or them. Or you could be a Pisces here. Keep going. Keep going, honey. From this we have the flame. I want to say this right now, but let's see. Let's see. I don't want to put the label. You know that, right? So let's see from this Oracle's card. This is from my, from, from my friend Melina. I'm going to put the link on this Oracle's card I'm using today. Shoot out to her and her channel. So we have a yes. So whatever the question have you have in your mind, or if you're waiting for someone or you're manifesting someone, answer is yes. So do not doubt on that. Yes. The next is... Um, Stargazing. Ooh.
we have the flame, stargazing, spiritual maturity. We have a handcuffed. Here you go. Okay. Let's see more here. What is happening in your connection? We have a growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Loving it. We have opportunity. Again, the moon here. Guys, what's happening? Wow, this is the moon pile. You guys are in intuitive psychics, my light workers pile. Welcome here, honey. Welcome in my channel. Let's see from this Sun Oracles card what you got. We have the loss. It's um, Saturn in Pisces, if I'm not wrong. It's a Saturn. Yeah, it's a, it looked like Saturn in Pisces. Number 12 could be important here. Now, let's see uh, from these astrological signs and things that are going to talk about this person who is coming towards you. This is about that person. So, we have a Scorpio. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. That was a devil off like a water sign, right? Uh, psychic. Wow. I'm seeing the skull. I'm seeing the snakes, lotus, water. Guys, what's happening? Crow. Wow. Who are you? Who are you watching these videos? Who are you? I want to know that. The group number two pile. Who are you? You guys are witches, psychics, intuitive, tarot readers, healers, light workers, empaths, wipe here. You know who are you. You know. You are the shit, okay? So let me boost you up. You are the shit. Scorpio, yeah. Intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. This person definitely has a wow. We have a Pisces and... And Scorpio. So could be, could be, could be. Definitely a water sign. This is strong. You could have a water moons. You both could have a water moons. Or there's a lot of moon cycle going on here. We have a Gemini. Curiosity, intellect, and networking. I'm seeing butterflies. So also the signs here. Pay attention to the signs, guys. We have the Mars. Move forward and defend self. Hmm. This person could have a Mars in Scorpio or Mars in Gemini. This is a sign and could be this person has a Saturn in Pisces. Yeah, Saturn is not place. It's not good in a Pisces. It's a loss here. Okay, the first thing first here that if this is someone coming back here, because I'm seeing here with the moons here and this all moon cycle, you're gone with this person. Right? It's, it's all moon cycles that you've gone with this person. You, you, you definitely make the boundary with this person. You protected yourself. Look at this. All spiritual, all these spirit signs here. We have the owl. We have the tiger. This is about strength. You could have a tiger spirit and all spirit, you know, watching you and defending you. Your spirit guides are protecting you guys. Like they are telling you everything. Look at this flame again. And we have the flame here. Yeah, you could be doing some type of a candle spell or candle magic are doing something with a candle to heal yourself to manifest things right you could be doing something on a moon cycles you know like whenever the new cycle or you know new moon is here you could be manifest something and this is happening this is happening guys this is happening so this is a confirmation i told you watch my readings as a confirmation and we also have a yes in your reading so whatever you're manifesting are the person who's on your mind you want to know that if there is a chance with this person yes because I know you know this person. There's a spiritual maturity here. Because it's it's the two people here, not the one person here. I want to show you. Yeah. Look at this. Two people holding hands and hands. And coming together. Because spirit is watching them. Like babies. You're a spirit babies. You could be star seeds. You know, you guys could be star seeds. You both could be star seed. And some of you, if you are single watching this video and you don't have anyone, don't worry. You have someone just like you manifesting you. Spirit is going to put you on this person, on your path, on your person, this person on your path. Because I'm seeing there is opportunity here. There's a growth here. This is a new flame. Okay, I'm going to talk about it very clearly. You know my style. I don't, I don't do these things. Okay, I don't want to make you happy. You know that, right? I don't sell sugar coating things here. So yeah. So it's talking about you thought it's over, it's finished. There's a loss here. You thought it's over, it's finished. There's no chance that we can be together. But deep down your soul knows that. Your intuitions always told you now this is the one. Because we we have the flame, we have the lot moons and mers and all this Saturn and this uh, spiritual maturity, you could be twin flames because I don't want it to go there, but now I'm seeing here. This could be a cycle happening in a twin flame connection as we know that so you could be in the process of separation you give up on this person you make the boundaries you like no I, I'm, I'm protecting my heart 
I give it, I give to this person, but this person never come back to me. No, they will. They will. This is that person coming back to you. This is your flame. This is your twin or this is the old flame rising up. Catching the fire again. The old flame catching the fire. Do so you understand what I'm talking about? This is the old flame catching the fire. And others of you, this is talking about uh, if you don't have anyone and you're single watching this video and you want to know that who is coming towards you, this is a new person. Because I'm getting with this opportunity and growth, you manifest, you're manifesting this person with these new moon cycles here. You maybe already lost to someone. Yeah, you could lost a house. You could be lost someone from your whole house, okay? Like could be someone from your home, like your mother, your father, um, someone very close to you. Yeah, you, you lost someone. Or this person lost someone from their home, whoever this person is. This person could be an orphan for some, or you could be. There's a loss here. You, you, in this all process that you were dealing with this person, you gone through loss and they gone through loss too. This is also someone is, is, is coming towards you. They lost someone. For some of you, I'm hearing that they could be a widow, like they lost their partner. So that's why they will be protected and they will be, they, they will be, this is like very guarded up. Or this could be you, you lost your partner. I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry for your loss. But if you lost, definitely lost someone. Like your father, your mother, your partner, your husband, wife, your child. And whoever you lost could be a pet. Like who were very dear to you. Like you definitely, um, you know, you were a caretaker to, to your pet. Like you were a mother and father to your pet like that. So whatever you lost, whoever you lost, that disease one, that lost soul, you know, that is not present in this, in this planet is watching over you, is now is your spirit guide, is protecting you and guiding you. So if you are seeing your disease one in your dreams and they're giving you the sign and opportunity like this way, this way, go this way, it's a sign that they're telling you. If you lost, whoever you lost, okay, they are coming in your dreams and they will guide you this way, this way. This is your way because I'm getting this is how spirit is, is guiding you through your dreams. Stargazing, stargazing could be very important for you. Like whatever you want to wish you desire, there's a stargazing. So do that because you, spirit is definitely watching you, watching and observing you. Like what are you asking for? Your manifestations, your dreams are coming true. With this opportunity and growth, this is a relationship that is going to grow. Doesn't matter. It's coming from it's an old flame or it could be a new flame that you're... You're, you're, you're falling in love because we have the handcuffed here. So there could be something that you are stuck or this relationship are stuck, not, nothing moving forward. But now it is going to take a momentum here with this Mars energy here. Now things are going to move forward because there's a move forward and defend self. So this person is going to take action with this Mars and Scorpio. They're going to express it. They're going to tell you how do they feel. They could be purging. You both gone through this dark night of a soul energy here. Some of you, I feel like you both are two people who are coming coming together because you both gone through the same experience it does not have to be you know this person but when you will meet this person you will know that they have the same experience they have the same home life story same um, trauma same traditional things or values are they lost someone just like you there's the same story here there's something about with this with this person is similarity here familiarity here um, this could be someone from your past life. So when you will know them, you will like, oh, I know this person from past life. I know that, that I have been with this person already. Or if you have been, uh, you know, when you will meet this person, you will like, oh, I think I was in this home already. I was in this place already. I feel like, you know, there's a deja vu type of energy here with this person. That's how you're going to feel. You just know this person, guys. Come on. You guys are intuitive. You guys are psychic. Psyche. Come on. I said psycho. <laughs> So could be, could be a psycho. <laughs> oh, we love that, right? We love that. If, uh, at least you're a funny and creative psycho and loving psycho, then why not? We all are psycho in some ways. A little bit or could be extreme. No, don't go to extreme. We are. We have a Scorpio energy and we have a Mars. This person could have a mindset Gemini, so they're going to speak. So maybe this person speak like that, like me, very fast. This person could be in a public speaker. They could be communicate. This person could have a good voice. They could be a singer. This person is a creative, by the way. We have the moon. They could be do something at a, at a night. Their work is just like that. They do at a night. You know, are you both? You both do things at a night. You both are creative people. 
And we also have a Scorpio. This is definitely talking about intuitions, occult, uh, mysticism, mystery. And we also have the flame, the candles. Oh my God. I don't know what you guys are doing. You are them. You both could be psychics, healers, intuitives. You both could be very creative people. Maybe from different field or the same field. But there is, is a flame here, okay? This is the person that is coming into your life I'm getting. And I feel like you're going to meet this person with a Gemini. It's definitely talking about maybe through your siblings, through your friends, through your relatives, people around you, like a short distance also because Gemini is like that. But this is also talking about intellectual, so maybe through education, through learning process. This is also talking about networking. So wherever you are networking, if you have a social media platform, you're going to talk, meet this person through there. Or they will talk to you on social media and networking. Now, we also have a Scorpio. It's a sign of definitely, could be this person is a banker or working in a banking. This person could be a sportsman or working with the sports or something, with physical activities. I'm hearing real estate, so maybe this person could be from real estate or you could do this stuff. This person could be from, I'm getting Egypt, Egyptian vibe here, like, and also could be this person from, like, Middle East countries. I'm getting this person could be from Middle East or you could be. There's something with the moon is coming. This person could be a Muslim for some of you, like Muslim culture, or there is a moon. Like people, I don't know. I don't know this much about tradition and culture, so maybe you know better. If there is something that people worship moon, I, I get in, in, some, in some culture or tradition, so you know better, tell me in the comments. If something to do with the, with the moon here, like you worship, the people worship moon, or do something with the moon, a stargazing, something to do at night, okay? Yeah, there is, is. You could be seeing this person in your dreams already. Or you will see it. Now, let's see who is this person and how your relationship will be. So, I, I'm going to see this person's personality from these archetypes. This is, again, from my friend Malena. Definitely um, follow her channel. I'm going to put the link of her channel and also her website. Like, you can buy the Oracle's card from there. Let's see this person's personality, like who is this person that is going to be a confirmation or a more detail on this person. Let's see. So we have the manifesto. Yes, here you go. Again, something with the moon here. I can't make this shit up. Original, little power, genius, communicator, law of attraction, God-given skills. So God-given skills. Yeah, this person is a manifesto. Very powerful. So I'm getting like this person could be also a psychic like you, could be an astrologer. Some of you, if you're working in this field, so they could be also from this field. They're watching you. Oh, this could be a fellow intuitive chat reader, um, oracle card reader, astrologer, psychic, just like you. Or this person could be doing something with the law of attraction. This person is a genius, very original, very real. Yeah, again, Aquarius vibe here. So this person could be Aquarius or it could be a water sign. Could be Gemini. Again, networking, talking a lot. This person is a communicator, great communicator. I can see that with the Gemini energy too. We have the Hinoist, um, Hinoist, yeah, enjoying life, feeling good, sex, seeking pleasure, making the best of it, following the intuition. Yeah, again, this is a psychic. This person is intuitive. This person is single, by the way. This person is currently single. I don't think so. This person is, is, is in relationship. No, this person is single enjoying life they're enjoying the life being free this person do something with the water or near the water they maybe manifest things with the water this person has a high good sex drive yeah we have a struggling musician oh <laughs> i see so this person is a struggling musician okay Longing for stardom, just chilling, um, victimizing, all I want to do is play all day. So this person, again, something to do with the music. Yeah, I was, I was getting it. Very creative person. Either, either this person do is as a side thing, like a hobby or activity, or this person is a struggling musician. Oh, wow. Yeah, this person may be uh, working in a band for some of you, I'm hearing, like, but their band is struggling. I don't think so. This person is a longing for a stardom, like they want to be a star. Let's see. Everyone got the four, but you got two extra. So let's see. You got the five. We have, oh, transgender, authenticity, identity, struggling, finding the way, strength, self-love, old man out, approval. Okay, so I know it's going to trigger some people, So, but I don't care. I told you. I respect everyone and I love everyone. So this person could be a transgender. Okay. 
Yes, so uh, on my channel, you will see everything. This is Aquarius in me. So I am, I'm just accept, I just accept people who they are. So yeah, this person could be a transgender. You are them maybe. So welcome on my channel. So if you're not into that, this is not your reading. Others of you, this is someone, um, yeah, this could be talking about, does not have to be just transgender. They could be self-love, they could be strength, but they're struggling right now to finding their identity, sexuality, who they really are, what they wanna do. This person could be younger than you. We have a workaholic, yeah. This person is workaholic, expert, always prepared, making plans, providing, finding solution, exhausted, not enough play. This person is always networking, doing things. They could be doing something on laptop, internet, social media. Yeah, very, very uh, busy person. This person could be a bio, I'm hearing, like it could be a homo, bio, bi, sorry, bisexual, a homo. You could be from that tribe. I told you it could be a rainbow tribe. Let's see. Some of you I'm getting with this loss here, so they maybe that's why they're transgender. They maybe changed their body, definitely. They lost their body, something. Something, their sexuality. So let's see. But I'm also picking up this person could dress like female. Okay, does not have to. If this is a male, now I'm going to talk about it because there's a lot of things happening in the world, okay? Does not have to be. This person could be in this energy. Like, they're, they're not a transgender. They could be do, like, they, they give this impression. Maybe if this is a guy, this person wear nail paints, nail polish, you know, do makeups um, and uh, wear the colors and stuff and makeup and things like that, that definitely um, like female. And if it's a female, she could be dressed like a man. Something like that. Also, I'm getting, this is the spirit is telling me. Giving the vibe of a, you know, male, if this is a female. She could be a bald, or she don't have a, a hair. She maybe do something that man do, wear the man mind tap things. You know, like that edgy type of person. Obviously, it's, this person is intimidated, by the way. Let me tell you. It's going to trigger because... Uh, it is going to trigger a lot of people. So maybe this is not your pile. So watch, definitely click off. You can choose another pile. But it's not triggering for me, okay? It's not triggering me because I know. I, I accept people who they really are, okay? It's not triggering for me. So I understand whatever this person is. Let's see now um, your relationship with this person. We have the eight of coins. Uh, a lot of you, you're going to meet this person through work. Again, something with the birds here. We have the stock. So you will meet this person when your business is rising up. You're working very hard. Your money is rising up. You could be getting popularity in your work. Then you're going to meet this person. Wow. Yes, I love that. We have the Fool card. This is a very fresh energy. Three of Cups. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. We have Three of Wands. Look at this. That's you. You're letting, you're, you're climbing the ladder of your success here. But this person is maybe still struggling, either in their work, either with their sexuality. We have the Four of Swords. They're not being authentic as you are. So maybe you are more like with the full card, going with the flow. I don't care. Fuck the world. I, just, I do just what I want to do. But they're not like that. They're still hiding their sexuality. They're hiding their true self. So that's why you will meet each other. Yeah, we have the seven of coins. Bottom of the deck is the ten of swords. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Eight of wands and we have the star. Yeah, this person could be in a public eye. This person want to be a star. We have the empress. Again, feminine energy here. So I don't care if this is a male. This person has a feminine energy. Or they do stuff like and things like that is feminine. We have the star. It's also healing energy. So this person could be in some type of like a, I'm getting like a makeup artist. They could be a makeup artist. They could be a musician. They're very sensitive soul like a woman, female. This person is also have a difficulty to express their feminine side. They don't want to show it because they feel like it's a weakness. People will judge them. People will see them like, no, yeah, this is what I'm getting from this person. Does not have to be. They could be, uh, you know, in transgender, bi or, you know, homo. So they could be just a man, but they're very sensitive. This, this person is very feminine, very sensitive. They don't want to show to the world and the people that I am like this. Um, this is a healer with the empress and the star. If this is a healer, they have a feminine energy in them. 
Yeah, this is like their, their yin sign is more active, but they act like could be like I'm a male. You get it? I get it. <laughs> so if this is triggering you, this is not your pile. This is not your pile, okay? So I strongly feel with this eight of wands here. So this person, definitely three of wands and eight of wands is, is, a, is a distance from you. And this is a message that you're going to talk to this person or this person is going to send you a message. The fool is also talking about someone is watching you from afar. So this person could be living in a long distance, like dif different country, different ethnicity, different background, different culture, different religion either. Okay, so you are definitely far, far away from each other. This person going to talk to you. This per you will meet this person when you are climbing the success here in your business, in your career. This person can also help you somehow if this is, a, you know, like whatever the work you are doing, they are doing the same thing. So you can maybe collaborate with each other. It's like with the Three of Cups, it's a collaboration here that can help both of you to, to reach to success. Especially if this is someone from same field as you are doing the work. Okay, and others of you, this is talking about like this person may be going to start as a friend with you, with the Three of Cups. You will start as a friendship. You know, like uh, I could be, I'm saying it's a colleague, by the way, with the Eight of Coins and Three of Cups. It's like mutual friends, mutual colleague, or someone is going to introduce you again. Your friends of friends, you, your friends maybe know this person. Your colleagues maybe know this person. Or this is also like your siblings' friends, you know, siblings know this person, something like that. There's some type of interaction of other other people. Peoples are involving you. But this could be, in, in today thing, this is also like social media thing here. So whatever the network you're doing or working, this person maybe want to work with you, want to collaborate with you, watching you from there, and they're going to send you a message. They're going to talk to you because you have the Empress and Star. This person wants to be a star. They could be already a star, but they don't feel maybe they are good enough. I don't know. But this person is mean to be a star mean to be a popular, mean to be a healer. They are healer. This person is a healer. They know it or not. They're a healer. They're psychic. They're intuitive. Now we have the Ten of Swords. This person gone through a lot. Yeah, King of Wands. There you go. This is definitely someone who's in a public eye. Again, I'm seeing with the peacock hair. So this person stand out with the star hair. Definitely stand out. There's no way that you can't notice this person. You know who this person is. Or when you will meet this person, like in some type of a party or celebration, this person will stand out in front of you. This person stand out. The way they look, the way they act, or the way they dress, the way, do, the, way, the way they do things, this person stand out. So you will know it. Ten of Swords and King of Wands. This is someone who is definitely um, tired with the dating. Yeah. You maybe already know this person. So it's a confirmation that this person is coming back with the Empress and Sun. You manifested this person. So you're wishing, you're praying, and this person is coming towards you. There will be communication here with the Eight of Wands. You will express your feelings. This person want to date to you. It's like reunion here if you're waiting for. So it's like wish coming to. Whatever it is, it's like wish granted. You're going to be happy with this person. This is going to be a very healing connection, by the way. We have a Four of Swords. So right now, maybe you're not in a contact. Again, something to do with the healing here. You will be healing for this person or your presence will be healing. I'm also hearing this person appearance is healing too for a lot of people. Yeah, this person's presence is, 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 is healing, just. We have the seven of coins. You know, some of you, you have been waiting for this person for a long time. So it's here. This person is coming. This person is not toxic. No, I'm not saying it, okay? This is not toxic person. No, 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 not at all. This person is a not a toxic. I feel this person mind their own business. Very free-spirited soul here with the sun and the star and the empress. This person is very feminine, guys. Yeah, we have uh, something comes to an end nine days or nine weeks. Nine could be important. It's also a karma. So you maybe have a karma attached with this person. So this person is mean to be in your life because we have a karma now. We also have a Scorpio. Yeah, it's coming again in your reading. It's a double confirmation. So uh, heal the wounds, eight weeks, eight months. So some of you, you need to let someone go before so this person can enter in your life number eight and nine could be important eight months or nine weeks or eight weeks nine days could be coming we have a leo okay yeah look at this fixed sign here we have released the power of your heart five weeks five months leo so this person could have a strong scorpio and leo placement or you both could be number five could be important when the sun will be in scorpio also this person will come to you i'm getting or it could be a leo season yeah, we have a Libra, 
enjoy your time seven weeks seven months now some of you this person is coming in within five to seven eight months or if it's a weeks then seven five eight nine days or weeks this person is just coming to you this person want balance they want balance okay they're not here to play let's see some of you you will get pregnant by this person there's a pregnancy here with the star and empress empress is a mother energy or this person has this mother energy healing energy i'm gonna see that anything else come up for this pile yeah we have a z so this person could name has z y y z could be new york i'm hearing could be a z new zealand zoya zara something like that zach i'm hearing we have this pink card so yeah again something with a pink it's just definitely feminine energy for me again yeah this could be a rainbow pile for some of you does it does not have to be but pink pile it's feminine energy here again forever ever scorpio energy skulls here couple so you could be a past life connection with this person this is your past life soulmate this is happily ever after i don't think so. it's like death will do us apart that's i'm hearing from this pile yeah there is a there's definitely long distance here this person will travel to see you or you will travel to see this person we have this uh you are my special angel yeah this person feel like you're you're an angel for for them yeah this person will call you sweetie cutie my cutie pie i'm hearing cake baby girl type of energy cinderella barbie you know this type of things coming yeah we have the black it's again something to release negative energy we also have the starfish and we have the star yeah definitely again star is coming this person is popular in a public eye this person is a healer and we have a starfish is also very attractive right so this person is attractive very attractive person i'm hearing this person maybe have a baby face if it's a girl or guy yeah we have this uh, stone here it's very unique it's different this person is very unique and different by the way they stand out girl we have mm, confusion so either they're confused about you or this connection or you will be confused about this person like i don't know if i should say it, uh, you know yes to this person or no and others of you this is talking about this confusion will be gone once they're going to clear to you how do they feel yeah look at this this uh, black fly here yeah again it's something that you both need to clear and clean in order to come together there's a tower movement happen we have a amethyst so there's a healing here that you both need to do this connection is also going to be healing yeah i'm seeing this this looks like a you know like a horse but it could be a horse this person could be born into a horse here of chinese something to do with the horses here this is also someone that um yeah will be very active very passionate we also have the cycling so they may this person maybe do cycling they could do sports we have this heart forever love so this person definitely feel like you are the one no doubt i feel this is this matter of the time when you will be together you will also i'm feeling you will have a baby baby girl with this person yeah you will have a baby baby girl you will have a baby i told you you will be mother of this person child if you're ready if you're adult enough mature enough three of wands again it's like being positive a lot of you you're waiting you're manifesting um you know this person is coming you know this person is out there we have a four of swords yeah in the process of healing right now so you a lot of you you are healing this person is in the process of healing too this person could already have a baby girl for some are you could have a one baby or you will have a baby i'm saying that if you know this person you're not in a contact but you're positive you're waiting and your your wait is going to be over this person is coming your manifestations are coming through others of you this is totally a brand new person you're going to feel like you never met this type of a love and ever happily ever after it's coming this is your reading going to see you later bye welcome group number 3 if you choose this beautiful heart stone this looks like a chocolate to me yeah stone welcome if you choose this brown heart stone crystal let's see uh what's happening in your love life who is coming next what is next in love and who is coming towards you i'm going to use this oracle's card first let's see we have compatibility we have yin and yang wow this is your soulmate 
wow, this is soulmate. We have a yin and yang and we have a compatibility. So before we can start it here, so if you're a man here or masculine, this person you're attracting is, many, is feminine or female, totally opposite from you. Either it's opposite gender or opposite uh, energies, whatever you are in the energy. If you're a feminine, this person is masculine. If you're masculine, they're feminine. If it's also, it's, it's totally different. Yeah, wow. This is, I'm hearing power couple already. So you compliment each other, guys. You know better what I'm talking about, okay? Let's see. Most we have this gnosis. Yeah, this person is very complicated. Very complicated person. Let's see, I'm using this Oracle's card. This is a gift from Elena. So um, I'm going to put the link of her channel. Please follow her. She's a very, she's a very good, intelligent, um, and very smart, psychic, intuitive. My friend, definitely follow her channel. And also, you can follow her Instagram. And also, you can buy this Oracle's card, okay, from her website. We have a spell binder. Ooh. We have Seonara. Or Seonara. Yeah, message coming. Ooh, this person is going to send you a message, some of you. This person is already watching you. I'm hearing secret admirer. Let's see more. We have a self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. And then we have miracles. Yeah. Something is about to happen, guys, for this pile. Let's see from this Oracle card what you got. We have a choice. Mars in Libra. Hmm. This person has a choice. But they will choose you. Let's see. This is that person that is coming. This is going to tell them and briefly tell them astrologically like what are they and what are they doing, what are they doing for living and all that stuff. So we have house two. Physical security, possess, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Self-esteem and self-worth is very, very important here. We have a fixed stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. This is a fixed sign. I'm getting Taurus vibe here because we have the second house. Okay? And we also have a Libra. So this person could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed sign. But Taurus is coming already. Let's see more. We have a house nine. We have a spiritual growth. I'm seeing a lot of birds in your reading. We have the birds, birds, birds. So uh, there's something to do with the birds here. Birds is a symbol of communication, message from the spirit. And I feel the message is coming. We're talking about message is coming. And it's look like with this energy, the bird is coming to give the flower, you know, like a message. The way this bird is coming. This person believe in family. This person believe in destiny. The way I'm seeing this hand here. Maybe this person's hand look like this. Look at this. This person's hand look like this. You know? Yeah. Um, this person believe in family. This person believe in tradition. Because we have the second house. This person is like an old school to me. Like an old school traditional family values. Type of a person. This person could have a mustache. I'm hearing for some of you, mustache and beard. Um, dark eyes. You're totally different from each other, I'm getting, with this white and black. So this person could have a darker skin complexion. You could have a whiter. Are different from each other. Something like that. Yeah, black and white. You could be a different culture, background. It's like a mixture of two people together. That's how the life is. But you're also totally different from each other. So if this person is masculine, you're feminine. You're feminine, they're masculine. Something like that. This person could be living uh, in the areas of like mountains. Or this person love hiking. Like mountains. I'm getting this person has a choice because we have the Mars in Libra. This person definitely has a choice to mate and they're going to choose you. They're going to choose you. If this person has a choices and options, they're going to choose you. But this could be you too. Like you have a choices and options. So you're going to choose this person. This person is very complicated. Again, I'm seeing the birds here. Something with the birds here. Maybe this person has a good voice. They could be a public speaker. They could be a singer. They raise their wise, they stand up for people, they maybe raise the vibration of other people like self-esteem and self-worth, they talk about these things. 
about uh, people's self-esteem and self-worth. This person is a fixed sign. People can depend on this person. This is a dependable person. If this is a male that you're manifesting, uh, are you are attracting? Obviously, it is going to be a father figure. Someone who is going to be like a very, you know, in, believe in the roles of the, you know, like a man or masculine. And, and if it's a feminine role of feminine, wifey, um, wifey material, something like that. So this person, you can depend on this person. You can rely on this person. You can trust this person. This person is dependable. Believe in family. I'm seeing nesting here. So something to do with the nest. They believe in nest. They believe in family. They believe in tradition. They believe in, in growth. It's not just a player around here coming to have fun with you. No, 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 no. It's not. We also have number ninth house. It's talk about Sagittarius. So they could have a strong Sagittarius in their chart. This person believe in spiritual growth. They could be spiritual. They could do spiritual talking. Some of you I'm hearing religious, they could be a religious person. This person could be in, in some type of law and authority because I'm getting with this justice scale. They could be a lawyer. They could be a judge. They could speak um, truth. Are they, they fighting with the truth? Are they stand up in their truth? This person believe in destiny definitely and fate and miracles. This is a miracle for a lot of you because I feel like you're going to meet this person unexpectedly. This is a miracle for you meeting this person I'm getting because this person is bringing this, um, this person is going to raise, I'm getting, going to help you in your, uh, you know, like if you have issues with self-worth and self-esteem, this is your person. This person going to support you as, this much that you will feel confident. You're going to feel independent because this person is not like indecisive, flaky, wishy-washy and you know like i don't know what do i want i don't no 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 they will tell you what you what, what you need to do where you not where you, this person is fixed like this person knows what do they want and they do it they take action this is going to be a spiritual connection by the ninth house presence in your reading it is going to be a spiritual connection you're going to learn a lot of things from each other this person maybe speak different language so you're going to learn different each, each other's different language culture religion you will respect each other this person will respect you it is going to be look i'm strongly feeling if this is a man let's say if this is a man that you're attracting it's a very traditional man that who believe that who will look at this he don't he's not going to be insecure if you are top of your game if you're getting praise from other people, if you're going, if you're successful, if you're rising above in your career and in your success, he's gonna support you even though he's he's, he's 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 behind you, he's under you. He's still not on that level, right? So this person is not insecure. This person is very very secure in their self esteem and trust and um, self worth. They know that. This person is balanced. Will balance you. And here you can also see that there's a female hand above and here is the hand. So this person does not care if you are leading him, if you are empowering him, you're more powerful, you're more strong, you're opinionated. He will respect you. He will listen to you. He will, he will put you on yourself, on himself. He will definitely listen to you. He will, he will, he will respect your opinion. He will care you. He will care for you. Like really wanting to know like what do you want? What do you like? It's not just about me, 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 me. No, this is not that type of typical masculine energy here. Controlling. No, he's not controlling. He will balance things with you. Choice. He will always respect your choice. Okay? We also have spellbinder. So I feel this person will feel like you put the spell on him. Because he will be head over heels over you or she, whoever this is. You could do maybe spell things. So maybe this person will be, uh, believe or people will believe because I'm seeing there's a bird's ear. People will gossip about your connection like you put the spell on this person. Because the way this person is going to treat you and put you on pedestal and treat you like my queen, my king. People will think like, whoa, she definitely did something to this guy. You know, we, we talk about it. We're living in the society like that, right? If you see a couple like, you know, if man is taking care of the woman and taking the purse, it's, it's a very... Um, a traditional thing here, you know, like um, con unconventional thing here. Uh, so sorry, unconventional thing here. You know, for people, not for me, <laughs> or not for people just like me. It's okay if someone is taking care of their partner. It's okay, just let them be. So if this person is like, for example, if you are in a shopping mall and this person is taking your purse, taking your, are, 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 you know, if you, if, uh, 
um, doing your hair, doing your makeup, taking care of you, feeding food for you, making the foods for you, you know, playing the roles like uh, taking care of your health, you know, giving you the medicine, like, are you okay? Asking you, making the lunch for you, you know, and also when, when, yeah, it's just like, you know, that little things, you know, doing for you and people will be like, what? Look at this, man. look at this guy, look at this girl, what is she doing for his man? Or what is what he's doing for his his girl, his woman, something like that. People will talk about it. I strongly feel like because this is how this person gonna treat you. My king, my queen, and they're not insecure. They're okay if you're okay. If you're rising above, if you are controlling them, if you're trying to manage things in your own way, but they also know where to stand. So if something that you are doing, overdoing, or you are crossing the boundary, they will like stop because that's how I'm seeing with the hand here. They know how to protect themselves and they know that what is your, this person is going to give you this much space, freedom, like do whatever you want to do, but don't cross the limit because don't, don't break my trust because I'm putting the, my trust on you. I know that you're not going to do it. I know that you can depend on me. I can depend on you. So trust me, there is a spiritual, this is, I can't um, express it. It's very beautiful energy here. Like the way this person is like, uh, I'm getting with this, um, I don't know why when I see these feathers here, I feel like it's ancestors. Your ancestors are bringing you guys together. You deserve this and this person deserves you because you complement each other. This person, whatever this person needs, you're going to give them. Maybe this person has a self-esteem issue and self-worth issues, but you are very in, in, secure in yourself. This person may be insecure and you may, you're going to make them realize and make them feel it's okay. You can be yourself. It's okay. You can trust me. You can depend on me. Something like that. You're both going to help each other. That's why you're coming together. Our message is coming. So this person is going to send you a message or you will talk to each other a lot, especially because I'm seeing the birds again. There's a lot of talking here, maybe on, on cell phone, on, on internet or social media. This is like a miracle, to be honest. I strongly feel like this is a miracle that you will be together. And with this Gnosis here, I strongly feel this is like, this is going to be a spiritual connection. This is a very spiritual person. And this is going to be very spiritual connection, divinely guided. I'm, again, I'm feeling divinely guided. Ancestors are bringing you guys together. It's a fate. It's a destiny bringing you guys together. It's a miracle. So trust and believe on that. Even though if this is someone you know, this is someone coming. And they're, they're going to choose you. Don't worry about that. Trust that. So some of you with this scenario here, I strongly feel like you maybe said goodbye to this person. You maybe thought it's over, it's finished, but this person is coming back around to you like a miracle. And others of you, yeah, you will say goodbye to your past life, the previous life that, that you used to live because you have to live completely maybe in a different city, in a different culture, in a different religion and in a totally different lifestyle with this person. There's something that you need to good, say goodbye in order to be with this person. And you will do that, obviously. Or this person will say goodbye to something because they have a choice. They need to say goodbye to someone or something in order to be with you but they will choose you obviously it's a miracle so this is what happening now let's see who is this person and your relationship will be with them let me see from this oracle's card this is also personality type archetypes from my friend Melina definitely check her channel out and also her website for these cards if you're interested So let's see this person personality for group number three we have the gentleman yeah i knew it we have respectful elegant honorable gentle strong provider enduring love graceful leadership yeah look at this the war the the pink and the white this is a gentleman you deserve that i'm so happy for you you deserve that you maybe des it's, it's a marriage here so this person will, this will lead to a marriage. This is going to be a long lasting. This person is going to be, you know, like I was talking about, like, yeah, this was the word, gentleman. Like taking care of you like a gentleman. Opening the door for you. You know, pulling the chair for you in the restaurant, in the hotel, like sit here. Like really treating you like, wow. We have the addict. Using dependency, unhealthy, uh, de depressive, having problems, not taking care lying to themselves or others this person could have a smoking issues 
they could be added to um, substances okay like something like that they have this issue or maybe they used to be like this we have the nerd yeah iq genius intelligent lame inventor secret techniques knowledge secret this person maybe love to read books yeah, this is a loner okay like this person is okay to be alone okay to spend the time alone they could be a nerd they could be wear glasses i'm hearing yeah, we have a Lucifer. Oh my God. Sex, desires, alluring, shadows, dark night, subconscious, hidden realms. This person maybe wear some type of, um, I'm hearing, um, lenses, wear different type of lenses. Yeah, this is a Lucifer, definitely. This person and funny guy living the life with the dog, with, with his pets or with her pets, whatever you want to call. This is a nerd, okay? This is very uh, gentle man or gentle woman. <clears throat> this person have a high sex drive they could be added to sex some of you are could be added to other things again for some i'm hearing that maybe this person knows it or not but they have shadow sides okay they definitely have some shadow side we all have it okay it's not nobody can get perfect partner Let's see if you have the six of gems. Generosity. This person is generous. I told you this person is generous. Gentle man. A gentle woman. You are getting a gem here. And then we have the five of shells. Disappointment. But it's came up reverse. Good luck. Thank God. We have an ace of roses. Passion. Yeah, a lot of you, this is a new beginning. This is a new love. New passion. New exciting uh, connection. Ace of roses. It's an ace of wands, by the way. Here is Leo Sag. Seven of Roses, courage. This person is very courageous, very strong, opinionated, like a fire sign. I'm getting like a fire mixture of air type of energy. We have the devil. Here you go. Could be Capricorn. And we have the Ten of Shells. Success here. Yeah, it's a Ten of Water, by the way. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wings, a position. It's Seven of Air, I think. And Triumph, Ace of Wings. And bottom of the deck is justice. Again, something with the justice and Libra energy. So this person, 11, could be important, relevant to you, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this person could be working under a um, justice system. Are they maybe opposite? Yeah, they oppose the justice system. They don't follow the justice rules, regulations. Like, I don't care. They maybe have something to do with the security. <clears throat> Sorry, with the authority, with the devil here too. Capricorn is a control and justice is too. Like, they're against of it. Okay. They have definitely something to do with uh, against of justice, authority figures, leaders, or quality, you know, like these type of people. They believe in equality. This person believe in equality. You know, like they, they, they believe in truth. Yeah, they oppose, they definitely oppose other people. If they feel like something is wrong, they're going to speak up. This person have this much courage and strength to speak up against the wrong. Wow. So they could be uh, in, in, in a leadership qualities, like this person is, is maybe have a lot of opposition. This person maybe have a lot of haters because they speak the truth. They, they stand for truth. They have this courage that they stand for truth and they don't care. This is a devil energy. It's a Capricorn energy. So I told you that sex will be very, very, this person is a sex addict. This person will be addictive to your sex, addictive to your body. This could be a shadow side that much like this person has addiction with sex here. I'm, I don't know why I'm picking seduction and ace of wands. This person, your relationship will be started with this person with passionately. It could be starting as a physical attraction. But this person is not a devil. Let me tell you. We have the addict. So maybe this person will be addictive and obsessed with you. And obsessed with your body. The way you talk. The way you see. But this person is not like that. They are a gentleman. They are the nerd. Okay. They have the other side. Maybe you don't know it. So this person has is a mixture of good and bad side, like shadow side and dark and light side. So if you are the light here, because we were talking about yin and yang. So if you are the light person, a light worker, or you're totally not into this thing, this person could be in the dark side. So that's how you're going to complement each other. We have a triumph. So two aces here. Definitely talk butterfly and rose. So you could be seeing these things. Yeah, triumph and passion. This is going to be a start as a new passionate connection. And look at this, we have a disappointment. You're not going to disappoint. You will leave something. Maybe you need to say goodbye to the past person or past relationship in order to be with this person because it is a new person. And if this is someone new that you're uh, someone coming from the past, I don't think so. 
it's look like you have to make a choice maybe the we were talking about remember this choice maybe you have a choice where that yeah choice in your reading so maybe you have a choice that you need to make a choice you need to say goodbye to someone in order to receive this person or to accept this person to start a new cycle others of you maybe this person need to say goodbye to someone there's definitely a choice here that you both need to make we have a six of gems starting good it's a generosity this person is going to definitely treat you like a king or queen yeah it is going to be so this is a capricorn energy very strong fire water combination could be pisces i'm also getting like a, a water sign yeah this is someone who's very successful or will be successful ten of cups it, it is going to be a success here and we have a seduction too so this person could be very attractive charming or this person will be very attractive to you physically sexually this person believe in family i told you with the ten of turns uh, ten of shells here success here this person believe in family this can lead to a successful marriage or successful relationship this person has courage to go against the opposite okay they have it and they will show you they will not disappoint you don't worry this person will not disappoint you this person if this person was maybe addict or something have addictions or something like that they will change themselves you will see the change in this person let's see when you will meet this person we have aquarius yeah i was talking about it 11 again came up 11 11 so you could be seeing a lot of 11 11 number seven could be important give a uh, fresh um impasse 11 weeks or 11 months like <clears throat> you will start a relationship we also have everything is in in progress could be in eight days eight days or eight weeks saturday is an important day it's a saturn by the way so this person could be older than you or you could be older than this person your moon may be conjunct with this person saturn so it is going to be a very yeah masculine and feminine energy here some of you this person could be already a father with the saturn presence in your reading are going to be a father figure like act like a father figure very protective like a gentle man a gentle woman search for a joy stay stay alive yeah it is a long distance it's it sorry it could be a long distance but i'm getting like consistent it's a long-term partnership by the saturn presence in your reading don't worry it is going to be a long term and number eight is also the number of saturn monday two yeah again the it's it's a moon here swap ideas seek advice could be monday and saturday important here this person may be born into these days this person could be right now currently age could be 28 or 27 there could be 11 years age gap too for some of you or 278 this could be date of birth, life path number, something like that. Let's see from the charms now and I'm done your reading. Yeah, there's a moon and Saturn here. Conjunction of moon and Saturn in astrology, if you believe in that. Your Saturn may be conjunction with this person moon. Let's see, we have H could be important, Z. We have S. Oh, so this person could be CEO. We have this black energy, black stone. So this person definitely gonna release negative energy, their shadow side. Or this person has shadow side. We have six of pentacles. Yeah, coming again, generous. This person is very generous. And again, with the Libra, so they could have a Libra energy, definitely. Six of pentacles coming again. I'm also picking now Virgo energy from this person. Like they're very generous. They're very caring. They're very giver. This person is a giver, not a taker. This person is a giver, very giving. Live in the present. So you, to manifest this person, you need to live in the present moment. We also have a love. Yeah, this person will share the love with you. We also have this angel uh, baby here. So maybe you will have a baby with this person. Some of you, I told you, like they could already have a baby. Are there really an age gap between you and this person? With this, babe, with this angel here talking about spiritual again, this is going to be a spiritual connection. A lot of healing, a lot of lessons that you will learn with each other. Yeah, we have the Cupid arrow. So this person's gonna tell you that they love you. They could be Sagittarius, by the way. We have the home, yeah. So you will build a home with this person or you will move in with this person. You will live together. This is also going to a long term. We have this heel here. So maybe this person love that you wear heel. You will meet this person maybe into clubs and parties. We have this beautiful pink stone here. Talking about love, harmony, balance colorful we have a butterfly so you will see butterfly it's a transformation in love we also have breathe 
So it is going to be a breath of fresh air. You will also breathe with this person or this person will breathe with you. You also need to take care of your uh, health right now. Take care of your breathing. Take care of your healing. This person allow this, this thing to happen. Go with the flow. Again, we have the starfish. So this person will be attractive or attractive to you. And what is here? We have S. So another S. It's like a superman. So yeah, again, this person want to be a gentleman, superman, want to show up like I'm the one. Pick me and uh, I'm your man. Like very traditional way. I'm your man. I'm your woman type of energy, but mostly man, masculine energy. So this is your reading. Gonna see you later. I really hope it resonated. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Bye.